What is up guys, Random Onium here. This is your Week 8 Fantasy LCS Analysis and Prediction video. In this video, we're going to break down all of the matchups for Week 8 for NA and EU LCS. I will be discussing the results from previous weeks, so this is your spoiler warning. Um, and the general um, TLDR of this week is that, that this week is going to be chaos. That's the best way that I can put it. Uh, this week is going to be absolutely insane. There's going to be a lot of close matches. I think there's going to be a lot of coin flip matches. Um, where it's going to come down to one team fight, and whoever team fights better is going to win. Um, I think the drafting phase is going to be especially important this week. Um, yeah, there's going to be just a lot of crazy stuff going on, especially with a lot of the meta shifts on 8.4. Um, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. But that said, it makes predictions very hard, and you'll notice that this week... There's not that much of a point spread. There's a lot of teams that are hovering around this 30-point range. A lot of players that are hovering around the 30-point range. Uh, and that's because the, there's there's very few teams this week that look like they have a clear 2-0 and or a clear 0-2. So you're going to see a lot of teams that kind of are hovering around that 1-1 one one, uh, range this week. And there might be a few that get some upsets here and there. But in general, that's, you know, it's making it hard to make one player better than the other based on the fact that a lot of these teams look like they're going to go one and one this week if you know everything pans out uh the way i think it will but in general i think the teams that are going to do relatively well this week could be Fnatic, g2 echo fox cloud nine typically you know your top teams are better bets uh for going uh getting more points um unicorns of love is still putting up a lot of points um, so they're definitely a good bet, but they've got a little bit of a harder week this week. CLG is showing a lot of life later in the split, and those players have been putting up a lot of points even when they're losing. They've been putting up more points than they should when they lose. So now that they're actually winning, uh, they're putting up a lot of points. A uh, couple of the uh, 100 Thieves players are doing relatively well. Misfits is still in that mix. There's a lot of players here and there that are slightly better value than uh, their teammates, so we're going to kind of go over that. So just on the team side, it's really the teams that we think are going to go 2-0. Those are the teams that are going to do the best. Um, so I'm looking at Fnatic, G2, Cloud, 900, Thieves, Echo Fox, top five. Uh, Splice and Unicorns of Love also do relatively well on the, the team points are concerned. On uh, top lane, Huni, Wonder, Licorice, so you're seeing trends already, Echo Fox, G2, Cloud, 9. Alfari, Lorlo, Darshan are up here because Lorlo and Darshan uh, have, they could probably go one and one this week and they put up some decent points usually when they go one and one. Soaz, Ruin, Smitty J, those are kind of all in that one and one range. Uh, Jungle, Dardock, Yanko, Svenskaren, Cold, top four. Uh, and then you're looking at the teams, you know, you got Broxa, Medios, Rainover, Max, Lore, Contracts. A lot of those teams I think are going to go one and one this week. Mid lane, Phoenix, Jensen, Perks, Huhi. Uh, Caps is kind of in there, and then you're seeing a lot of uh, people in the mid lane who are just kind of middle of the pack. Uh, there's not much to really distinguish them. You can see that a lot of them are like between 33 and 35 points. Uh, so just keep that in mind. A lot of times it's best to either look at what's going to complement your team the best, or if you really want to all in on a certain team, if you feel like you need to take that risk, then you know pick up your mid laner based off of that. Bot lane, uh, Reckles has been doing amazing. He's just been just doing insane stuff on Fnatic. Uh, if you have him, you know, that's very lucky. Altec, Cody Sun is another one who's been doing really amazing, but putting up a lot of points. Uh, even when 100 Thieves has not won, he still puts up decent points. And then still above average, Hajarn and Sneaky, Samix, Hansama, Kabi, and uh, Sheriff. And then for support, Adrian, Smoothie, Wadid, and Hillisang are at the top. Uh, you can see Biofrost is still up there, Matt, Mickey, Aphromoo, Tagama. So Aphromoo's been playing out of his mind lately. Mickey has dropped a little bit in priority, uh, but still is a good pickup. And then with CLG and Golden Guardians uh, potentially being able to pick up a win this week, that brings up some of their support picks. So that's kind of the tier list right now. Now we're going to go into a little bit more depth on the week. So, um, yeah, we're still getting a lot of shakeups uh, in in the the rankings and things like that. Um, so you can see that the teams that I think are going to probably have the the best chance at having a good week this week would be Cloud9, uh, Fnatic, G2, 100 Thieves, Echo Fox, Splice, uh, uh, Vitality looks like they might have a decent week. And then the, most of the other teams are kind of in the middle. Um, it's, there's just a lot of teams this week that look like they're going to go one and one. 
For example, CLG, Team Liquid, Golden Guardians, Clutch, Misfits, uh, Unicorns of Love, Giants, they all potentially go 1-1. One and one. But I mean, there's chances that some of those teams go 2-0 and oh, and that kind of will explode up their points. Um, definitely think that uh, Misfits has a chance to potentially beat Splice. Um, yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of potential for upsets, especially on the EU side. Nothing is really set in stone right now. So that's kind of breaking down how the, the week goes. It's just a lot of, lot of really close matches this week that can go pretty much any way. So a lot of what I'm doing is I'm looking at the value that a lot of players have when I'm deciding who I'm starting this week. So we'll go into the, uh, the value stuff is over on the right hand side of the, the screen. And you can see that, uh, for example, uh, for teams like TSM, CLG, Optic, uh, Clutch, all getting above average on team points. On the, the EU side, Fnatic, G2, uh, Misfit, Unicorns of Love, all getting above average points on the EU side. We go to top lane, um, Hanser, Darshan, Lorlo, Huni, all getting above average uh, for NA, and then on EU, Wonder, Alfari, um, this, yeah, Smitty J, and uh, Ruin, all getting above average points over on the EU uh, top laner side. Jungle, people who are getting above average points, Rainover at 120% uh, of his value, Contracts, Dardoch, uh, Maxlor, Cold, all these people are getting more points than they should on average. That doesn't mean that they're getting the most points every week. All right, I don't, I don't want you to confuse you guys with that. What I do is I basically figure out what's the average points that a, that a player should get if they win zero, one, or two games in a given week, and then I look at how many points did they actually get. Did they get more points than they were supposed to? So if like the team did horrible and they lost both their games that week, but the player scored higher than expected for a player that went 0-2 that week, then they get a higher value score. And that allows me to predict when teams are going to have, you know, a week where they go 1-1 one and one, or maybe 2-0, and oh, then you can really kind of, you can uh, expect those points to shoot up uh, for those players because on average they score more points than they should. Uh, mid lane, we can look at the value scores there. So, uh, Huhi. Um, Power of Evil, High, Phoenix, Jensen, uh, even B. Erickson is slightly above average. EU side, not that many people. We got Exile at 109 and Blanc at 109. So, um, yeah, a lot of the NA mid laners seem like they're getting slightly, um, you know, higher value out of them than uh, EU. Bot lane, uh, Stixay, 113%. And I believe Arrow, 111%. But that's it. The rest of them are kind of, you know, hovering around that 100% or less. Uh, Cody Sun's at like 106. Uh, Altic's at 107. Deathly's at 105. EU side, seems like it's more AD carry focused. You got uh, Reckles, 117. Hansama, 117. Samix, 120. Uh, Sheriff, uh, 114. So if I'm looking at the metas, I'd say that uh, NA is more uh, mid-focused, and EU is more AD carry focused right now. And I'm looking at support. We got Biofrost, 125%. Matt, 124%. Adrian, 114%. Smoothie, 110%. Uh, over on the EU side, Mickey, 124%. Totoro, 115%. Promise Q, 111%. Tagamas, 119%. So there's all these players that have, you know, a lot of value associated with them. So if you're looking at, um, you know, a given player, if, you know, you think both of the teams are going to go one and one this week, you want to pick the player that has a higher value score associated with them. There's also risk that we have to talk about, or I guess you would say variability, since uh, risk can be kind of a misnomer. So we'll look at some of those graphs and we can talk about, so uh, uh, vertical axis is average expected points, and then uh, horizontal axis is variability, meaning uh, people on the right are higher risk, but also higher reward. Uh, they have more variability week to week. Uh, in their point scores. So you can see, you know, kind of this mid-range, uh, mid-variability, but decently high points. Cloud9, Fnatic, G2, 100 Thieves, Echo Fox, Splice, TSM, 
clutch even a little bit. People that are a little bit uh, safer that um, have less variability if you want that Misfits, Team Liquid, Vitality, CLG. And then the people that are more higher risk, you get Unicorns of Loves, Giants, Golden Guardians, Optic, those kind of people. Uh, let's go down, look at top lane. All right, so high variability for people like Hooney, Wonder, Smitty J, Alfari, Lorlo. Those are kind of your really high risk, high reward players over here. Kind of your middle of the pack people. Uh, Licorice, Someday, Ruin, Soaz, Darshan, Cabo Shard, White Knight, Solo, those kind of people. Hunter and Odo, you could probably consider in there. Uh, and then a little bit further down, you've got the rest of the players. you got Impact over here. He's actually like um, very consistent, but doesn't get that many points, unfortunately. Uh, going down to Jungle. Dardox at the top, high risk, high reward. we got some more people who are high risk, high reward. Yankos, Reign over Contracts. You can see we're just sloping down. Svenskaren, Medios, Broxa, Maxler, Cole, Joko, Gilius, all kind of middle of the range, um, uh, middle variability, and kind of low variability, Lyra, Lyra and Smithy. Mid lane, uh, you can see a lot of people who are pretty good pickups. Phoenix, Jensen, Perks, kind of are your top point scorers. Then you can kind of this middle of the pack, who he cops. Uh, Bjergsen, Exile, High is covered up there, but that's High right there next to Exile. Selfie, Febbin, Ryu, Niski, uh, Senkux, Suzuki. You can see it, the, the point values associated with them. Bot lane, you can see quite a few people down here that are uh, considered to be uh, low risk, but also a little bit lower reward. Steelback, Apollo, Double Lift. If you're looking for more uh, mid range, you got Hansama. Mini Tropax, Reckles is just putting out a, a ton of points, and he's not he's not that uh, risky, so he's just kind of like an ideal pick that you could have. Uh, Cody Sun also another really good pickup this week if you've got him. Um, and Sneaky, Kabi, Samick, Stixay, all potentials. Uh, even Deathly from Golden Guardians you could potentially pick up, and then kind of your more higher risk people, Altec and Sheriff. And then finally for support. Adrian's at the top, uh, just lots of variability in the Echo Fox uh, week to week. Then Smoothie, pretty good, uh, risk versus reward. Uh, you got Hillisang, um, uh, Aphromu, Kasing, Tagama, Biofrost, um, Matt and Spraddle are kind of over here, they're potentially good. And then kind of your lower risk people. Uh, but still put up decent points. Satoro and Mickey X putting up pretty good points for how low risk they are. And then kind of a little bit less um, average points. Hako, Jack Troll, and Ollie. So we'll go back to the, the tier graph. So this is kind of the where you're at with the tier graph. So just keep all this in mind. This week is going to be nuts. Okay, just, just accept it. Roll with it. Um, look for the players that have good value scores. Uh, look for the players that have, you know, the risk that you're looking for. Um, it really depends on on how much risk you want to take. If you really want to go all in on a certain team, if you think, you know, uh, Unicorns of Love is going to, you know, go 2-0 and this week or 100 Thieves or whatever mid-of-the-pack team, then just go all in on them and just hope, you know, hope for the best. But in general, you want to try and go for the people that are kind of above average on the value and those are the people that you're trying to see near the top of this list so many people uh this week are going one and one so if you got these players or these players are free, free agents definitely try to pick them up um but yeah just uh be careful this week is going to be crazy and uh there's no telling what's going to happen so i hope you guys like this if you did uh please let me know i know this season's been kind of crazy uh, especially with this best of one system, it's just been absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, I think the the predictions are getting better and better. This week is going to be uh, interesting to see what the results are. Uh, additionally, I'm going back to doing the beginner's guides to different classes. Next class is going to be divers, so I'm looking for any diver clips that you guys want. If you guys are a YouTuber or a streamer, or even just a random person who doesn't uh, you know make videos, uh, I am looking for people who are champion enthusiasts on divers uh looking for good clips you know things that you'd like that you want to show off with 
So if you have any of those, hit me up, leave a comment, uh, private message me, talk to me in Discord, whatever you got, and I'll uh, definitely, you know, give you guys credit where credit is due. So anyway, hope you guys have a successful week. Uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. Uh, this is Randomonium signing off.